Okay, we understood from the previous messages that the Lord is preparing those whose body will remain on earth, who will have a manifested body, a glorified body to manifest in the earth realm. But there are those who are waiting for the rapture and ready to leave the earth. Many, many, many. So that is the source of our confusion. Because the 144,000, we know we have work to do here, so we know we need to be preparing our bodies. And those who are ready to leave, they are just waiting and watching and waiting for the rapture. So why is that? And what happens to the two groups? This is what my understanding is. Those who made up their mind that they leave this earth and just be get out of here before the tribulation, those are the ones who are not anticipating to come back, not to be the part of the 144,000. Of course, we didn't know that either. We just received the revelation of it and received the call. But there are many people who are ready to leave this earth and go into heaven. The heaven for them is the eternal dimension, the fifth dimension and above, so they will not come back to manifest on earth, so they don't have to have their bodies prepared for the change because they will leave their bodies here. See, the scripture is clear on that. Their soul will be snatched away and they immediately get their glorified bodies, which is really the same as dying. It's going to be a moment of time that their soul will be snatched out from their body. They will not experience it as a death because their consciousness goes with them, so that they just, from one moment to another, they will be in glory. But the physical body will have to die, and the scripture says that. Let me give you that verse. This is in the Gospels, Matthew 24, 27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and even unto the west, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagle be gathered together. I never understood this verse until I prayed about it and meditated over it and finally received this revelation. And this is what it means. The eagles are the spirit. The gathering of the eagles. That's what the Lord is doing. Apostle Paul said it in 1 Corinthians 15, 50. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither do corruption inherit incorruption. So that means to me that the flesh is not going into the kingdom, it stays on earth. They are going to just leave their bodies. That's my understanding. That's the revelation I received. And I believe nobody really thinks this way because there was that movie that I've been serious and it was portrayed that the bodies disappeared. But where would they go? Also that we believe that Jesus' body was gone from the tomb. Jesus went through the mountain of transfiguration before the crucifixion. His body was already prepared for resurrection. And the proof for that, that Lazarus died and he did not reason to be eternal. He rose to be a man and died again. Jesus rose to be eternal because his body was already eternal at the time. He was already in his light body at the time he was murdered. Now, the same thing happens to the two witnesses in the book of Revelation, chapter 11, when they were killed. So now these are the manifested sons, right? They are here on earth, and they can do mighty miracles, and yet they are killed. And when they are killed, they killed like a man, because they're still in their bodies. It's a flesh and blood body, but it's glorified. Jesus was bleeding on the cross, too. But then what happened? Three days they they lay on the streets of Jerusalem, and then Father calls to them and say, Come up here. And they leave the earth and ascend into heaven, just like Jesus did, ascended into heaven. And that happened because their body was glorified, right? Now, the only thing against my theory that nobody ever find Moses' body because he was just taken up. And that the scripture says that our body is changed in the twinkle of an eye, changed. But when I change clothes, I take one off and put on the other one. And that's what the scripture also is talking about, that we put on our eternal body, we put on a new body. So it doesn't mean that the old is just vanishing. It means just not living anymore. Exchange, drop dead. So this is an interesting topic. Pray your body, please confirm it with the Lord, and if you have proof against it, then let me know, but that's just what I came to receive as a revelation. Glory be to God. God bless you. Bye-bye.